everyone, it's Arlene coming to you again with the My Favorite Things video. I wanted to share with you all an 8x8 layout that I created of a snippet of the day uh, of my birthday uh, celebration. And we had celebrated, my husband and I had celebrated in Santana Row and for dessert we had stopped by Kara's Cupcakes. And Kara's Cupcakes have, I mean, they're the most amazing cupcakes I've ever tasted. They're not like low, top load heavy where when you eat it you just like feel like you want to go run a mile. These are like the most air and fluffy. Okay, but anyways, these are really good cupcakes. So I had to scrap it, and my husband had asked the lady behind the counter for a candle, and when we got back to the hotel, he put a little candle on the cupcake, and then we got to sing, just me and him, happy birthday, and I got to blow out the candle. So anyways, it was a very sweet memory, and I wanted to scrap it. So I have a picture of the cupcakes and of me after I had blown out the candle. And let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about the layout and the products that I used by My Favorite Things. The paper collection that I use is just a Mod Podge of, of uh, basic gray collections from Nook and Pantry to Porcelain. And then some of these cupcakes are cut out from the basic gray collection as well. Now, my um, the whole cupcake theme, of course, um, sort of fit perfectly with this stamp set. And this is the Sprinkles on Top Jolene. She's so cute. I love the Jolene collection by My Favorite Things. She's just the cutest thing and she's so fun to paper piece. I love paper piecing with her. And you'll see that I colored her in with my Copic markers and then I paper pieced the top of the cupcake as well as the skirt. Super fun. And um, let's see, let's talk a little bit about some of the other products that I used by um, My Favorite Things. Um, this flower here, and it was so fun to make this. Um, this is called the, the Dynamics Flower Trio and Leaf Trio. But this is what the flowers look like. And here's a little leaves. I didn't use the leaves though. This is the little leaf trio. that go, these, these come together. And when you die cut this, it comes out like this. You get these three pieces. And what I did with the pieces is I actually, and I'll just go this way, I took at the end of my paintbrush and I just kind of curled um, them to give them dimension. So this is what you look it looks like. Um, really cute, so that's what you got right there on that one. And I put a little flat back pearl on top of it. Super fun. And then for the smallest one I actually had to use my my Cutter B, um, this little one because it's so tiny. I had to use my fine tip Cutter B um, tweezers. They look like this. Just giving you guys a little tutorial as we go here. And what I did is I just took the end and then just twisted. And that's how I curled um, the smaller ones. Okay, just showing you guys that. All right, so, um, so that is the flower trio and leaf trio um, dynamics. Love the dynamics, you guys. If you haven't tried my favorite things, dynamics dies. Give it a try, you'll love them. Okay, and then over here I used the rolled flower die, also by My Favorite Things, and I've shown this on a past video, but this is what it looks like. Super fun, I have a tutorial also um, on my channel on how to create those, the flowers using that die. So there's that with a little pearl in the middle. And then I used uh, the rolled rose die, and that's what this looks like. Super fun die, and I cut some of the brown um, felt from the banana split my favorite felt collection super fun and then i put a little pearl in the middle of that and then let's see <clears throat> last but not least um, down here i use the little open scallop strip and that's what that looks like and this is so fun this is really fun to edge your paper ed edge your photos um, you can do so many different things with this it's just so um, versatile so you got that. And um, just some of the other things, just have some leaves from I Am Roses, this butterfly, Sweet 39 I cut out with a Tim Holtz alterations die. Um, this is a Maya Road um, journaling spot. And as you can tell, I used a Mod Podge of the basic gray papers. I just tore and distressed the edges using vintage photo distress ink and just started layering the papers on top of each other. And I thought that was kind of fun. I had fun doing that. And then these are, um, this is a Prima Lace. And then over here we have one of those Tim Holtz um, sentiments, uh, metal sentiments. I'm not sure what those are called again. I forgot. And here's a little flower that I got in a rack from Susan. And um, and then I have some cute little I Am Roses pink flowers there. So that's my 8x8 layout. 
super fun. Go check out My Favorite Things. They have some awesome, awesome products. You can find stamps, papers, um, cardstock, Copic markers, um, dynamics, you, you name it, they have them. So um, anyhow, thanks for watching everyone. Hope you all had a great Christmas and Happy New Year to you all. Thanks. Bye.